Hansen here, and my guest today is Sharon Cowan of Cleaning Business Consulting Group. I and I just wanted to tell you about a new CD that Sharon has out, first of all, before we get into our discussion. It's called Service is the Name of the Game. And that's what we're going to talk about today is customer service. Right. Sharon has done a fabulous job with the CD and I wanted her to talk about some of the important points that she discusses in this regarding customer service. It is so important in your business these days because it's really hard to retain our customers and unless you're providing really excellent customer service, you're going to lose your customers eventually. So we want to really address this question. Right. So. Right. A lot of cleaning business owners claim that they provide great customer service. In fact, they, they always are talking about that's one of their selling points is that we provide great customer service, right? But do they really? Well, that, that's an interesting question, Jean, and I think what, what really determines whether a company is providing service or not is what your customer thinks of your service. You can, you can preach service all day long, but if your customer would not rate you an A-plus on delivering satisfaction and service, then uh, you're really not providing service. Um, and what you want to do by offering outrageous customer service and customer satisfaction uh, also is um, that will really distinguish you from your competition and all the... But, uh, but, sorry for the no, interruption, no, go ahead. but I'm yeah. just wondering, how are they going to know that they actually do provide good customer service? Because lo in a lot of people's minds, I do provide great customer service, right. so how do they know? Right. Well, it's really the customer that's going to determine that by responding quickly, by not saying no in particular to a customer. When a customer, for example, asks if you can send a crew over quickly because there's been a spill or an accident or uh, on the residential side of our industry, if a customer is having unexpected company and they need a, a cleaning quickly. You don't want to say, no, we can't do that, uh, and shut them down right at the pass. You really want to give them an opportunity uh, to, or give your company an opportunity to satisfy their need. And you might say something like, um, let me see what I can do. I don't know if I have anyone right now, but I will get on this right away. You want to make the customer feel that, that they're the most important part. And really, they're going to be the ones that are going to talk about your service. So whether you think you provide service or not really isn't an issue. It's what your customer is thinking. And you can do surveys with your customers right. as well uh, that will rate your uh, satisfaction level. So what about the whole culture of having customer service throughout your company? That's is really key because if, you, if the owner of the business is totally focused on, on satisfaction and service, that's great. But if the, Sally answering the phone is not, we have a problem. Anyone who calls your office or has any contact with your company uh, from your cleaning technicians to your operations people, no matter who it is, everyone needs to be focused and on the same page about customer service. You can't have employees that are telling customers, no, we don't do that, when you have a, an owner who is tearing their hair out because they do do that. Right. So everyone needs to be trained and skilled at how to talk to customers and, and how to provide the level of service that right. you want in your company. Yeah, and I think a lot of uh, cleaning business owners focus a lot on the training as far as the technical aspect right. of it. How to clean, how to do this and that. They don't really do a lot of training on customer service. No. So if you're going to have it in your culture of your business, you've got to train them on how to provide that good customer well, service. Well, true. And, and even uh, the, the technicians who might be cleaning an office at night, and there could be an employee still in that office who might approach the, the cleaning personnel, and they need to know how to respond. They need to know what to say. And that should... Um, uh, go throughout your whole company. Right. So what's the difference between customer service and customer satisfaction? Because you hear the two yeah. terms kind of yeah. interchangeably used. Right. Well, well, customer service is a term that's tossed around a lot and a lot of people feel that uh, when I'm giving customer, I'm giving great service. But service actually is fulfilling a uh, uh, specification, fulfilling a contract. If a customer calls and says I need someone to come over and and clean up this emergency spill, that's service. But satisfaction takes it to the next level because customer satisfaction is how how satisfied is that customer with what you're doing? The service is the actual task that you're that you're performing, but the satisfaction is a whole nother level because that means how well did I perform what I am supposed to do and what does my customer really think about me? Right. So the satisfaction is what we're really striving to, for. The service can be an operations person, can and it can generally take care of that service, but it is, it is a mentality of taking care of that customer, whether you call it service or satisfaction. 
Right. And so one of the ways that you can provide better satisfaction, I think, is to make it easier to do business with your company. Oh, boy. That's I mean, a sometimes big one. we make it really hard to do business with one. us. We yeah, make them jump yeah. through all these different hoops, and yeah, or yeah. we say, "Well, we have to follow the rules because right. this is our rule." And so, how do you get around that? Right. I mean, you want to have rules so right. that people don't overstep. But then, how do you actually right. do that? Well, uh, and that again goes to the corporate culture of service and satisfaction. And if the people are empowered to know when it's okay to break the rules, to satisfy the customer, they have to know that. If they're so worried that they're going to get in trouble by changing this schedule or doing something extra for the customer, um, they're never gonna follow through on your, your uh, corporate culture of service and satisfaction. They have to be empowered to say, Mrs. Jones, I understand that you need that help. We don't. Uh, let me see what I can do to take care of that. I will take care of that. Get the right answer. But if they turn the customer down and shut them down, you've just shot yourself in the foot. Right. So <laughs> that needs to go throughout the company. Right. All right. Well, thank you, Sharon. Well, I really appreciate pleasure. it. My and pleasure. if you really want to learn how to provide really great customer service and offer customer satisfaction, right. I do really recommend Sharon's CD because it's excellent. I've Listen to the whole thing, and I great. really got some great tips from it myself. Thanks, Thank Sharon. You. Mm -hmm.